All right, guys, I'm sure you've seen the hot knife experiment videos on YouTube. A lot of people are doing them. The videos have been blowing up, and we don't want to be left out of the loop, so we decided to do our own hot knife experiment video as well. We have this knife red hot already and we're about to put it to the test. The first thing that we are going to try this knife on is this tomato, but this is not an ordinary tomato. This is a frozen tomato. This thing is frozen solid, hard as a rock. It's been in my freezer for about two days. It's not that easy, actually. Christian here has to put some force down on it. Okay, we were able to cut through it a little bit, uh, but it wasn't as smooth as I expected. Christian here said the problem is that uh, since the tomato is frozen, then it caused the knife to cool down too quickly. And the thing is still solid as a rock, but we got this slice out of it. The next thing we're gonna do is this candle. By the way, quick disclaimer, we are doing this for educational and experimental purposes. Don't try this at home. The plastic handle on the, on the knife actually started to melt a little bit. We have to be careful when we're heating this thing up. Okay, looks like we're ready. Oh, smooth like butter. Whoa! Come on. Come on. Right in half. Whoa. Teraz utykaj nóż do tego. Look at that. Mission complete. After all the smoke from that candle wax, we had to open up a window and a door to air this place out. Now let's move on to our next experiment. Dobry pomysł. Christmas tree ornaments. Oh, come on. No. That was a fail. To jest szkło? That's not plastic, that's glass actually. I thought that was plastic when I bought it. Unfortunately, the Christmas tree ornament was a fail. I guess I should have asked the storekeeper whether it was glass or plastic, but it was really cheap to buy, so I just assumed it was plastic. Next, we have a mermaid. Unfortunately, she is coming to her life's end. Sorry that we had to do this to you, gal. Sorry. We're heating up the knife as I speak. Check up, check up. Here we go. All oh, right in half. Fatality. Go over there. Hey, where's your brain? <laughs> Mermaids have no brains. I gotta back up because I don't want to breathe in smoke from plastic. Hey guys, look what has happened to this knife so far. It's getting all bent out of shape, not only from the pressure, but because it's so hot and when metal is hot, it's easier to bend. Therefore, I don't think we'll be using that knife in the kitchen for anything anytime soon. Next on the list are some plastic Brillo pads. All right, here we go. Let us watch. Oops. <laughs> Come on. Nino, take it. Let us not touch it now. 
Man, when plastic burns, it really stinks. Next, we have a couple of kitchen sponges. Wow, a lot of smoke. <laughs> what we have now is a bag of popcorn. We are going to put the popcorn kernels on the hot knife to see if they will actually pop. One of our canisters ran out, so we just have to make do with what we have. Fortunately, two should still be more than enough. Something is happening. It's moving around a little bit. It's doing that. It's burning. Check it. Actually, we got one kernel. I didn't catch it popping, but I heard it pop and I turned around and started recording. It smells like burnt popcorn in here now. Next on the list, we have some Tesco Value Pack dark chocolates. Okay. Okay. I didn't think chocolate would catch fire. By the way, burnt chocolate does not smell as good as you think it would. Next we have cheese. I think cheese has been done on other channels, but you know what? We wanted to give cheese a try for ourselves as well. Next, we are going to be slicing some turkey sausage. Look at the size of that log. It's like frying turkey. That's about it though. Oh, look at that. You can hear it frying on the knife, oh, burning. Sizzling. Next we're gonna try an orange. Just a simple orange.
something that we learned while doing this is you don't want to hold the knife too close to the torch when you're heating the knife because it will reflect flames back towards the torch and you can melt the plastic around the torch. Thanks guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like. If you have any suggestions about experiments that you would like to see us do in the future, just leave them in the comments section. And also feel free to check out my main channel, Bible Flock Box. There I make Christian videos.